Uh, Demographics Now is a database that pulls together uh, information from a number of different databases, all about consumer uh, use of products, um, where on a map consumers live, how they're using their money, where they're buying things, um, That's which is a kind of a powerful tool. But it also pulls in other things. But from an entrepreneurship perspective, we're really interested in where are people spending money and how are they spending their money. Census data as well as Experian data organized into a user-friendly format. Basically all this information is collected by purchasing agencies such as Experian or the U.S. Census Department. This is a way to access all that information in a very user-friendly way. Well, don't we live in a, in a world of information, but it's not always easy for individuals to access it, to get it in a way that they understand, and to produce a report based on that information that they can readily use. You can go to the census site, you can go to Experian, you can get all this information, but it's not really something that the average person will be able to find on their own. This kind of brings it forward to them. Business schools often have access to these really fantastic research databases, but you kind of almost have to be a professor or somebody in the field in order to be able to access those and, and make sense of the data. Demographics Now pulls uh, the data into a very consumable format for the everyday Joe, right? So uh, it's accessible at the library at a very public place or available online if you have your uh, library card. It's available to students and, and you're not afraid to go in and play with the data and see what kind of insights you can pull out of it. So that's one of the, the real values I feel for Demographics Now. Let's say you're looking to start a business. Instead of walking into a loan officer's office and say, I believe the people in Macon County or Decatur like product X, you can walk in with a report generated by this site that says the people in this neighborhood spend this much money on project X, on, on product X, and, and, and have the data to back it up. Let's say an individual is looking for a neighborhood in which to buy a house. Where are the people that are my age? Where are the people that have kids? Where are the people that are making a certain amount of money? Where am I going to feel comfortable? Uh, they also break it down by what's called um, population mosaic. So it's not just how much you make or how, what your education is, it's what your interests are. What do you do with your spare time? How many kids do you have? What do you do on the weekends? Are you retired? Are you um, an emerging, a part of the emerging economy? Do you work in technology? All these different things. I would think that uh, some of the successes are businesses feel more confident starting. Um, they're able to pull together data and go out and get more funding because they can say, look, there's uh, you know hundreds of thousands of dollars that are spent in this particular area. This is my my specialty. There's a gap in this air in this geographic area for my specialty. Help me bring this to the community. So that's what I'm hoping comes from this.